Hello, we're really fortunate to have John Chitty on the channel today, who's going to be talking about his approach to the sick rabbit. John is a very good friend of mine, BSAVA ex-president, uh, also runs a 100% small fairy practice down in Hampshire. So he really is one of our, our top lecturers, has been named our lecturer of the year, one year at the webinar vet as well. And this is just going to give you a few tips on, on how to improve your management and approach to the sick rabbit. Thank you. My name is um, John Chitty. I'm an exotics practitioner in Hampshire, and I've been working with exotic species, including rabbits, for about just over 30 years now. Um, and I've been asked to give you five top things about rabbits. I've actually done six uh, because I'm also like that as well. So what are my, my things about rabbits? Well, first of all, the rabbits are prey species. They are generally prey species, they're not like dogs, not like cats. They are eaten in the wild and they are very, very stressed creatures. Um, everything stresses them. And we need to be aware of that. And many of the problems we, we encounter um, with um, hospitalization and anesthesia are linked into that stress. So we need to look after the, the rabbit, keep it happy, and we'll get greater successes. When they're in pain, they go very quiet. They don't they can scream in acute pain, but generally they go very quiet and very still. And a lot of things hurt them, and that's very often what they do. So we have to pay a lot of attention to analgesia. And a big deal, and this is what will reduce my, my referral load quite a lot, is that the meloxicam dose is one milligram per kilogram once to twice a day. And you need to give that dose. The third thing is you don't just look after a lesion. Just like all the other species we deal with, look after the whole rabbit. Look at it all, see how things tie with each other, look around and see why things happen. So for a good example, we like foot sores and pedodermatitis, there are very often some serious, important underlying causes going on there. Look at the whole animal. Another thing when you're investigating is that clinical pathology can be quite unhelpful, it can be quite vague um, and doesn't always lead you places. And actually imaging is often much more successful and we do a lot more imaging than we do clinical pathology. Um, fifth one, is engaged with the owners. Many rabbit owners are very, very bonded and they're often very knowledgeable as well about rabbits and some very active owner fora as well, which you need to be aware of. Talk to them, engage with them, bring them into the treatments, let them understand where you're looking at, where you're moving to and what you're planning and they'll be much better and they'll, they'll help out with the treatments and they'll be, be more committed um, to doing those treatments. And my final, my sixth one, is that I didn't start as a, as a rabbit vet, I actually started as a farm vet. I didn't start as a rabbit vet. And I kind of moved gradually more and more in towards the small mammals and rabbits. They're really cool animals. The more you work with them, the more cool they are. They do weird things and they're great. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that video. John's done many webinars for us. And in fact, we'll put some links down in the text below if you do want to look at a full length webinar with John. For the best veterinary tips, please do subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you click on the bell, we will send you notifications when new videos are added. Take care. Bye-bye.